I don't actually remember what's on this sub. I've had this before. It's called the Super Sub, wherever at Chris's. It's just like a bunch of meat. It's good. Dan got a calzone, which is good. They're huge. Dan's yeah. eaten a little bit of it, but it's pretty huge. And Mal got a French dip because she's only capable of ordering French dips when a French dip is on the the menu. You know it's true. It's good here, though. It is good. Um, agenda for today. Uh, after we eat lunch, we're going to go do some shopping. I meant to do it yesterday, didn't get it done, so we're going to do it today. And then Dan and I are going to record a few things, and then Cosmos tonight at 9. It's going to be fun. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Explosions. Grocery shopping accomplished. Yeah. It's like old times, except there's only three of us and one of us is a woman. Yeah. And we didn't check our blood pressure. But otherwise, yeah. it's like the same thing. Next thing on the agenda for today is to get rid of this stupid light bulb that exploded the other day. Um, the metal part, you can see, like this is the normal light bulb. Uh, the metal part is still up in there. Thank you, Mal. Um, so we have got a potato. We're gonna tr try to unscrew it with a potato if we can. Hopefully the work, it might not. We're gonna try it. I gotta start by turning off the breaker. Living room, 11. 11, bam. I think I did it. Light switch. Nothing, no power, yeah. No yeah. power, yeah. How do I um, do you this? Just shove it in there. Just like. Ah! I'm just kidding. Sorry. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. This is something that my dad suggested and then her my dad, dad suggested. suggested. Really? That's yeah. awesome. Okay. But it's not. You want the pliers? It's not doing anything. The figure is broken pieces. It's just the metal. Can you get it with your fingers? You want the potato? We got it. Hold on. Hot potato, hot potato. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. What a mess that's been. You can see it, like it exploded, man. Gugh. With any luck, that won't happen again. Sometime later, Dan and I have finished recording uh, some First 20 stuff. I won't tell you what we did, although you probably know at least one of them because it's probably out before you get this. But uh, both of them were for N64. So I'm going to release one soon. You probably know that one, and then the other one will come later. But um, yeah, it's done. We just cleaned it all up, so I, there's no evidence left. We are making pizza, the pizzas that we bought earlier, and Cosmos comes on in like two minutes or so? We got like two minutes! And then the new Cosmos! I have to talk really loud because there's like obviously copyrighted music in the background on the TV! That was great. It was very good. It was very good. Special effects were awesome. Yeah. And I mean, the thing as a whole was. was <laughs> the special effects were great and the story was pretty good. No, I mean. But yeah, it was, it was, it was really well done. I was impressed. You impressed? Awesome. It was, it was good. The, um, the the part at the end with Tyson talking about his relationship with Sagan was really cool too. Also, it totally looked like Tyson was like crying, but it was it was it was good. It was so good. It was so good. Thank you, Sagan, for for inspiring Tyson did to you, continue his. Did you like the reboot work. of your show? <laughs> Aw, you did good, Sagan. He was a good kitty. Yeah, you. You're actually just a cat. Isn't Kepler in the next episode? Or is he in three? Um, if they're following the original series, and I think they are, based on what it said, uh, the second episode of Cosmos is about evolution, and I believe the second episode of the Cosmos reboot is about evolution. So, probs not. But probably later. We'll get they to you. talk about Johannes for We'll a get bit, to though. you. We'll get to you. You're less, a little less important, but you will get to you. You little cutie astronaut cat. Yeah, he's an astronaut cat. Anyway, um, I hope you guys got to catch Cosmos. I, I don't think it's, I don't think they're posting it online, actually, which kind of sucks. Fox posts everything online. Do they? Okay, I, if there's a way for you to, to watch it, if you missed it, I will find it, dang it, and I will put it in the description so you can go see it. Um, so check the description if you really want to see it. I'll try and find a way for you to find it, even if, even if I, even if I link you to some, like, foreign site where there's like subtitles in another language I'll, I'll find a way for you to watch it uh, once again if you if you did see the cosmos introduction talk about it see uh say what you liked or didn't like or whatever and uh especially if you've seen the original series 
um, how you thought it compared, I think they did a really, really, really awesome job with it. Um, the, the, especially the Cosmic Calendar. It's, I think that was my favorite thing from the first episode of um, the original show. And the problem, my biggest thing whenever I told people about Cosmos and wanted them to watch it was that the first episode was really slow and that it's, I think a lot, it deterred a lot of people from continuing the series, but this was completely different. Like the entire first episode was really good and flowed really well. The animation was good. Yeah. I was not expecting that. And, 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 I, and I, yeah, I, I would really like to know who actually did that. Yeah. Oh, and um, the composer for the music is Alan Silvestri, who is the same guy that did the Back to the Future music, which is really a neat thing. So, I'm a fan of. yeah. So and, it, and, and I really like the spaceship part too. Like yeah, it wasn't as weird as the other one. As the original Cosmos, yeah. yeah. So all in all, I'm I'm super pleased. I don't know what the odds of Neil deGrasse Tyson ever seeing this particular vlog is, but yes, you and and Anne and I guess Seth is involved in some way. Everyone did good job, good job. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay. Um, I'm gonna stop it here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? This is. <laughs> I had no idea that I it came so out with a book. Oh my god! Hyperbole in half. Parp? Do you want to be happy and free from thought or continue dying in ignorance without knowing your true eternal self? You are controlled by lots of powerful forces you do not understand. Huh. Pale blue is the new black. Click to purchase official Epsilon robe set. Make a donation. Huh. Evaluate your identity.